My name's Gray, and this is my Lightbox tutorial. This is my beta. He doesn't have a name yet, but I was thinking of naming him something like Yoint. I started by cutting plywood into five 6x6 six six squares. I glued the edges together and placed a potted plant on top to clamp it down. I used wood filler to round out the edges. I got a drill to make a hole in the top of the box. I purchased this electric lantern cord at a thrift store for a dollar and carved the hole in the box to fit it exactly. Aluminum foil is glued on the inside to reflect the light. I purchased a Govi Bluetooth light online for $12. You can take a picture of a color you really like and it'll match the color. It's pretty neat. Like, don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to boxes. You can make a box out of anything. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stick around with my friends jam and I paint. It's nice having them around providing a backing track to life. I hope that one day all my stuff is handmade. I appreciate having lots of things around that feel loved. It reminds me that I'm loved too, by people who want the best for me and the planet. It's really fun to create things, and I think stuff holds up better having been joyfully crafted. We are creators, but we aren't God can't control the directions of our creations, but I think that's the best part. It means they continue to grow without us taking on life. Maybe videos exposing how much junk you can make out of trash will bring an end to the excessively wasteful consumerist mentality that has ravished and desecrated the delicate and elaborate garden that once covered this whole planet like a thick living blanket. Maybe, just maybe. Or maybe someone will decide to push the big red button after getting super glue on their fingertips. You never know. I found most of these plants on a sunny day in a shallow pool on the edge of a swamp by a lake on a mountain on an island in the Puget Sound. The rest is duckweed and Yoint seems to like it. 